So this question is a diagram question. We know that because of the circle provided here. So just to take a couple of seconds to see, well, what do I know about this diagram? Well, I see that it's a circle. I see that I have two radii coming out of A. All right, I have AB and AC. So by definition, those two side lengths must be equal to each other. And that's really all I know um, before reading the question. So let's read it. So the question says, in the circle above, point A is the center and the length of arc A, I'm sorry, the length of arc BC is two fifths. I'm gonna write that in. So this is two fifths of the circumference of the circle. So this is actually two fifths C, right? Two fifths of the circumference. I'm gonna just write that over here as well. So two fifths times the circumference is equal to two over five times two pi r because the circumference of a circle, the formula for the circumference of a circle is two pi r. And then if I simplify this, I can treat two pi r as two pi r over one, which means my um, simplified fraction here would be four pi r over five. So that's the, that's the length of arc BC. So arc BC is equal to four pi r over five. So I'm gonna do all of that work before even continuing to read the question, because again, it gives me this and I wanna take that as far as I possibly can take it. Then the question says, uh, what is the value of X? Well, the value of X is the central angle here. How does the central angle relate to the, um, to the arc length, right? So arc length has a formula. That formula is X, divided by 360 times 2 pi r, right? It is the fraction of the full circle, right? So x over 360 times the circumference of the entire circle. So in essence, what I have here, and I'll just go to the left because I have more space, is 2, two pi r x over 360 is equal to 4 pi r over five, and I need to simplify this. First, I can get rid of this two and make that 360 a 180. So now I have pi r x over 180 is equal to four pi r over five. And what do I wanna do? I am, there's a lot of things I can do here, but instead what I'll do is I'll just cross multiply because that's what you can do when you have a proportion, right? So I'm gonna multiply these first, which will give me five pi r x, and then this next, um, 180 times four. So again, you know, you could cross cancel here if you'd like, that's nothing wrong with that. I'm just gonna, I'm not showing that necessarily in this step. So four times zero, zero, four times eight is 32, four times one is four plus three is seven. So this becomes uh, equals 720 pi r. I can then divide both sides by five pi r, five pi r, so that I isolate my x, and then the pi r's cross out, so all I'm left with is how many times does five go into 720? Five goes into seven once, and then that becomes five, and then two, bring down the two. Five goes into 22 four times, four times five is 20, 22 minus 20 is two, bring down the zero, and five goes into 24 times. So I get X is equal to 144, and that would be my final answer.